sack. Touchdown, Raiders! Sack, J.J. Watt. Rock and roll. Touchdown, Houston. Well, the roof is closed inside Reliance Stadium today for the Raiders and the Texans. Head coach for the Raiders is Dennis Allen. He's got connections to Texas A&M. He's been groomed at some wonderful places along the way as an assistant coach, including Denver and Atlanta. And 52-year-old Gary Kubiak, his first game back after collapsing on the field two weeks ago, he will call the plays to Carl Durrell, the quarterback coach, and then he'll radio him in to the quarterback, Case Keenum, today. We've had the flip of the coin. Oakland won. They have deferred. And so Keyshawn Martin, who is a top 10 kick return guy and punt return man in the NFL, he's out of Michigan State, will retrieve the kickoff from Sebastian Janikowski, playing with some sore ribs. It affected him a little bit last week in the Meadowlands against the Giants. We'll see what it does indoors today here in Texas. The Raiders, the Texans, and away we go from Houston. It's Keyshawn Martin, who is hit and drilled by Usama Young on a 26-yard return. Here he is, Case Keenum, third career start for the mistake-prone quarterback, Matt Schaub. He was filling in then and filling in for Schaub today and still under center with Schaub healthy. Seven touchdowns, Solomon, and no interceptions in his NFL start. And he's now had three games to start. This will be his fourth consecutive start. And remember, teams have now have a book of film to be able to study his tendency, so he has to avoid the critical errors that can really cost his football team today. In the pistol, it's first and ten. The fake to Tate outside on Frank Johnson. Good read on it there from Mike Jenkins. On the side, losing three yards and back to the 17-yard line on the play. All right, the offense, the all-pro left tackle, Dwayne Brown, had a rough start to the season, but is back in his old form. And we just saw wide receiver Andre Johnson. He is the number one rated wide receiver from Pro Football Focus in the NFL. It's second down and 13 again in the pistol for Keenum. That's Ben T. Wade Smith with the block. And then brought down on the line by Daniel Muir. It is a gain of 11, a burst up to the 27-yard line. On the defensive line in this 43 defense, it is Lamar Houston playing very well. In fact, the top-rated, top six, 4-3 defensive end. Nick Roach, who comes from the Chicago Bears, leads the Raiders in tackles. C.O. Moore is a promising and rising star in the second year. With Tyvon Branch out of the safety and missing some time, Brandon Ross will take his place. It is third down and two. Raiders multiple in the secondary. Garrett Graham fumbled the ball unless he was down. It was hauled in that time by Phillip Adams. He is on the move. No whistle blown. Adams breaking tackles. Getting a block from Branch. Getting a block from Woodson. And takes it all the way to the 16-yard line. On a fumble and return, a return of 26. Graham couldn't hold it in through the catch, and the Raiders have the ball. Oh, the trend of turnovers continue for this football team. You see it stripped away from Graham. But, Kevin, this is the fourth time the Houston Texans have turned it over on their opening possession of the game. They came in tied for second most in the NFL in that category. We talked about the reason why this team has lost seven straight. Their ability to continue to just turn it over. As you see, four times they've turned it over on the first possession of the game, and that, that trend continues to hurt this football team. Every turnover is reviewed, and that's what's going on right now with Ron Winter and his crew here in Reliance Stadium. Graham has been a very nice find with the injury to Owen Daniels. Graham has been uh, setting career marks in receptions and in yards, and this is fourth season out of Wisconsin. Right, he holds on to the ball here. As you can see, Charles Woodson comes in, being the smart, heady Number veteran. 71 is reporting eligible. 71. That is the third force fumble by Woodson. Watson becomes the tackle eligible for the Raiders, and look at the great beginning field position for rookie quarterback Matt McGloin from the 16-yard line of Houston. 
Jennings in the backfield. It's first and ten. And he'll take it up, and Tarpinian will wrap his arms around his waist to gain to the nine and a pickup of eight yards on the play. So Penn State rookie free agent Matt McGloin becomes the third Raider quarterback, a starter this season, replacing the injured Terrell Pryor. Here's a kid that was a walk-on at Penn State. He was undrafted. He was fourth on the depth chart and just really brought in to be a training camp arm for this football team. But what you love about Matt McGloin is he had to earn everything he's gotten up to this point. Now he gets his first NFL start. The tackle eligible is out. Two tight ends in second down. Short three. They try to pile drive the right side. There's not a ton there. He gets a gain of two down to the seven. Marcel Reese is the ball carrier. On that offensive line, right tackle Tony Pachos becomes the third different starting right tackle in three weeks. He's back from a hip injury. And the running back, Rashad Jennings, replaces the injured Darren McFadden with a hamstring again this week. Against the Giants last week, he had 88 yards rushing on the ground. Not bad at all. Third down and one. Tight end eligible. Watson remains. Jennings head down. Face first. Close to a first down. Pick up of two. He got it. Right into the teeth of that Texan defense. Tackle was made by Earl Mitchell. And let's talk about that group. On the defensive line, J.J. Watt is the next one, especially the last three weeks with sacks and forced fumbles and block kicks. In the linebacking core, recently signed Jeff Terpinian replaces the injured Joe Mays, who's out with a knee and an abdomen injury. And in the secondary, Kareem Jackson is out with a chest injury. Bryce McCain will replace him. It's first and goal at the five. As the tight end, Graham fumbled on the first possession for the Texans. Jennings set up the middle. Flag was down, as you saw and heard. Tarpinian there. Ball start. Offense number 76. Five-yard penalty. Remains first down. That's Lucas Nix, who has not been playing very well. A second-year player out of pit. Yeah, it's going to be the left guard right there. See him? He knows he's going to pull, but he just left too early and caused the penalty. Can really derail your drive. Remember, Houston Texans come in with the league's number one ranked defense. Kevin, as we said at the top, they have not allowed a 100-yard rusher all season long. And, you know, Rashad Jennings is trying to break that trend. He needs to really tote the ball for a Wildcat, here goes Jennings, and Wildcat hand off to him. And the snap from center and down to the five on a gain of four as McGloin, the quarterback, came to the side and you take a look at Dennis Allen and you can see what they've done in opening drives this season. Well, they've been able to score touchdowns, the second most in the NFL, and getting the ball into the end zone. Using that Wildcat with Terrell Pryor out, remember they run a lot of read option, so to supplement the running game, gonna implement the Wildcat offense allowing Rashad Jennings to run the football. Now they're back in the regular set, base defense for the Texans. Second down and goal to six. McGloin to Jennings. And he made it down to the four. And J.J. Watt had a hand on him along with Tarpinian on a gain of a yard. And how about this? Matt McGloin's in, and you would think they would just abandon the read option with Terrell Pryor out of the game. McGloin is running the read option. We talked to their head coach, Dennis Allen, about it last night. He said, oh, no, we're still going to run it. We don't expect him to have the runs of 90 yards or more, but we expect him to get what the defense is willing to give him. So you're going to see McGloin still using that read option. Six defensive backs. It's third and goal at the five. And that's a touchdown caught by Denarius Moore. Five-yard touchdown throw. Moore has caught over half of the Raiders' touchdown passes. The leading receiver, McGloin, with his first NFL touchdown pass. Take a look at it. He's just going to come here, but watch the pick on... Look at that. See how they picked Bryce McCain, who was locked in man-to-man -man coverage against Moore? It was just a subtle pick, enough to screen off in coverage. Man-to-man -man coverage, you're susceptible to being beaten on the pick routes. Janikowski making it 7-0 Raiders. They cash in on the turnover. Another opening drive for them. 
as the tight end Graham fumbled, reeled in by Adams, and then a strike to Denarius Moore, 7-0 Raiders. Garrett Graham on the right did not fumble this season. He did moments ago, which sets up the Raiders at the 16, McGloin. Solomon cashing in with a five-yard touchdown pass. The ensuing kickoff taken out of bounce. Hauled in there by Kareem, and down he goes at about the 13-yard line with some nice special teams tackling there by Jeremy Stewart. Second possession for Case Keenum. Down 7-0 early first quarter. Well, as you said at the top of the broadcast, turnovers have been a problem for the Texans. Oh, absolutely, and, and Graham's turnover cost them. Now they're down in the whole seven points. We saw the same thing last week in Arizona when they turned it over on their very first possession of the game. And Keenan with a first down and ten. Good play fake. Sims comes up the middle. Back to Graham. They go. A hit on the side by Stacy McGee, the rookie out of Oklahoma. Catch and run of six yards up to the 21-yard line. Yeah, their ability to sustain drives, particularly early in the games, I think is critically important because this team has not played well in the second half, Kevin. We already said they've been outscored by 81 points in the second half during this seven-game losing streak. So there's a few trends that they have to be able to break, and protecting the football is one of them. Tackle eligible, Ryan Harris on the left side. It's second down and four. Here from the pistol. Ben Tate got around Houston, chased by Roach, and pulled down from behind. And he's out to about the 23. It is a gain of three. The reason they got the tackle eligible is because they're down a tight end, and Tate's slow to get up. They're down a tight end. That's Ryan Griffin with a concussion. So they're going to bring in a tackle who will be eligible on most plays, and Tate's going to leave. Here comes a third and one now, Sully. And remember they talk about being able to set the edge to stop this running game as they roll up on the back of that ankle by Tate. He's also hampered by rib injuries. But Lamar Houston that time got hooked on the play, and so the Raiders could not set the edge. Dennis Johnson is the running back, third and hey. one. And with Ace Keenum to Johnson. Found the hole, but boy, did it close in a hurry. Not much right there as they had the great tackle on the play from Kevin Burnett, who raises and closed the gap. No, that's just a really good play by Burnett, number 94. He's able to launch right down in there. Looks like he's going to hit the seam, and then watch Burnett come right down right there and close off that hole as it looked like Johnson was ready to get to the second level of the defense. So the Texans have not found any success on third and one and third and two. Here comes Weckler fielding the high long snap from John Weeks, the ex-Raider. 13 years in the silver and black. And at the 20-yard line with the ball, Jacoby Ford. Hang time of 4-7. 56-yard punt, three-yard return. Here comes McGloin, fresh off his first career touchdown pass. Well, the Texans salute to service week. Kicked off with the Stars and Strikes bowling event Monday, which featured several Texan players and 130 members of the United States military from the Wounded Warrior Project. And today, to honor the veterans, the coin toss was overseen by Presidents George H.W. Bush and George W. Bush. Both look terrific. And our back judge, Greg Steed, right there, a Marine veteran, wounded in the Gulf War. And back out on the field. And we thank him and the hundreds of thousands of veterans and current men and women of the armed forces for what they do and for the freedom they provide. It was a first and ten from the 23 in the second possession for the Raiders. McGloin and Streeter hit by Jonathan Joseph, a terrific cover cornerback. It's a gain of four in the play, and he's up to the 28-yard line. Yeah, as you take a look at McGloin, you know, I asked him, I said, you were a walk-on at Penn State. You was undrafted coming into the NFL. What has allowed you to overcome some of these odds? And I loved his answer, Kevin. He says, I guess I'm just a competitor. He says, I cannot accept that someone is going to outwork me. He said he can't even accept that someone is better than he is. He goes out to compete in every rep, in every practice, and every play of every game. In the pistol with Reese. Marcel Reese getting some work here early in the game, which is good to see on a gain of one. On that second down handoff as we take you for the first time to New York in James Brown. And Solly and Kevin, Ben Roethlisberger can't accept somebody's better. Hey, how about Antonio Brown? 
making a guy miss. Wow. 34 yards, 7 nothing Pittsburgh. Eight plays, 68 yards for the score. Steelers up, 7 nothing Back to Kevin Harlan and Solomon Wilcox. And JB, even Coach Cowher will tell you, there's no quarterback who wants to be traded out of Pittsburgh. Third down and three. Well, that's a score into itself, isn't it? Yes, it is. Jennings back in. McGloin with a lot of fire around him, and he finds the receiver, Michael Rivera. The tight end brought down by Swearinger. It's a gain of seven on third down and three to the 37. How about this? Matt McGloin got this offense moving. As you can see, oh, there's a little bobble, but he pulls it in before he hits the ground. So that's a really good catch by Rivera. Rookie out of Tennessee, sixth round trap choice to the 37, first and 10. 51, start! Set, cut! Holmes in motion, Pashers the block at the right tackle, great throw and a drop! And you don't see it very often from Marcel Reese, who is a college-wide receiver at Washington, a pro bowler a season ago, dropping it right there. Oh, look at this. This is just a great throw by McGloin. Talk about the rookie quarterback. He does his part. He needs the veterans around him to do their part. Really good protection. The ball hits Marcel Reese right in the hands. Got to be able to haul that one in. But the way this young quarterback is playing, Kevin, such poise, even on the road. Remember, the Raiders have lost eight consecutive games on the road. What? Right now, McGloin's giving them a chance to take a huge lead on the road today. Crick and McLean on the defensive line. Second down and seven. Here we come the other way with Streeter. He stiff arms his way into Swearinger. Gets close to the first down. Sharpton chases him down. That's a run of eight on second and ten. And a flag is down at about the 48-yard line. Right near midfield, Rod Streeter out of Temple, undrafted. 29 receptions on the year, but that time taking it on the ground and showing off that great speed as Ron Winner will uh, try to sift through the traffic here and figure out what the call is going to be. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, contact against the player, obviously out of the play. Number 65, offense. That's on Mike Brizell, who is a former... Houston Texan who started many games at the guard position here. Oh, they're in Wildcat. Look, they come one way and look, they reverse it back the other way and they get it over to Rod Streeter. And it's 65.